What's up guys, Neil here, back with a um, app slash feature review. And that's to share the way that people have lately been creating the images that um, show how much their face matches that of a painting from anywhere around the world. And how it's done is using the Google Arts and Culture app that's available for Android and iOS. So what you're gonna do is you, once you install the app, you're gonna scroll down to a section that will make that comparison. So I've already got it installed, so there's a, a special section for is your portrait in a museum, and it'll compare your face to thousands of paintings from around the world and see if you look like anybody, and it give you the rating, a uh, percentage rating of that match. So what you'll do is you'll hit get started, and then it will have you take a selfie and um, then process your face based on how you, based on what uh, paintings are available around the world. So. Um, I'll stop talking for a second, take the picture, and we'll rate the comparison. So um, once you've done that, you'll it'll do a quick an analyzation or analysis of your face. And there's a 56% match to this uh, painting by Francisco de Goya. If you swipe across, there's a 50% ma match to this painting by Tranquilos Cremona. And what you can do from here is um, when you click on the um, I button above the picture, you can get a bigger um, version of that picture. And you can also touch go to artwork and it will load a page that gives you the usage rights when it was create the painting was um, created, uh, more information on the year and all of that. And then also a brief history of the painting itself. So this one was um, donated to the Turin Civic Collection in 1920 and uh, a little bit more information about the artist and all that. So you can get this um, uh, history there and then you can also get more details on the image itself. So the creator, the data was created and um, the rights and all of that. And if you wanna get more um, information about the artist, I guess you should be able to click on this, but um, it's hit or miss for me at the moment. Um, so I'm not sure why that is, but um, you can do that. And then if you want to get more information on any one of the other matches, you can do the same thing. Just click on the I, click on go to artwork, and you'll get uh, more information um, that way. Uh, so that's really the bulk of it. That's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Um, the only thing is to note is that you do have to give it permissions to take that selfie and analyze your face. So if you're okay with that, then um, it's as easy as you saw it. And then you can... Um, hit the share button and you can share it to social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, email, the usual places wherever you want. Um, and then you can also use the um, rear camera or the front camera, uh, whichever one you want. So if you want to uh, compare your friend's face using your phone, then you can do that. Or if you want to, uh, if you see a billboard of a person or something like that and compare their face, then there is that as well. And it gives you a chance to learn a little bit more about um, art and culture in the app as well. So um, there is all of that uh, good stuff to use right from within the app. So that's all there really is. So if you want to give it a shot, it is, as I mentioned, available for Android and iOS. And all it requires is your smartphone or a tablet with a camera. So that's all there is for that. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find me on, um, or you can get the, find the website at PatelN01.com for all social media links, subscription links, all of that good stuff. This video and all prior reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, if you want to help support the show and network grow, um, there's always a Patreon, patreon.com slash PatelN01 or paypal.me slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.